Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm introducing my giant escape bike to the channel. This is the first time this is featured on the channel and obviously again we're on the bike theme again today and I just wanted to introduce this bike and basically go through all the things that I love about it and all the things that I don't love so much about it. So it's a fairly short list, should be about a 10 minute video. I'm just going to talk you through and if you're thinking of buying a bike like this hopefully some of the points that I mentioned will be useful to you. Uh, to help with your decision. So I, I don't know the exact proper name for this. Is it? I would probably say it's like a Tora slash town bike. And obviously you can see it's got the pannier on the back. So it's pretty practical. And the first thing that I would say about this bike is it's extremely comfortable to ride. And that is thanks to the seat. The seat that's come with it is deceptively comfortable. It's got a really, really nice kind of memory foam kind of feel to it. And we'll talk about this more in a little bit, but it's got super wide handlebars as well. Now that just makes for a really comfortable riding position, especially when this is what I was used to previously, which is very aggressive and pretty uncomfortable. So yeah, all in all, that's the first thing that I want to say about this bike is it's really, really nice to ride. Practicality wise as well, it's super good. You've got the front and back mud guards, which came with it. And you've got the pannier as well, which is really handy. I've actually been using that to carry my lock. Now I was using this, but unfortunately these uh, connections here, they just kept popping out. It's the one that just came with my lock. So yeah, I've ditched using that and I've just got a bungee and I'm putting it on the back and I don't get any rattle at all with that. So it works very, very well. As well, obviously you've got the gearing, which does a massive job of helping with hills and being able to go at various speeds as well. I've got a seven by three setup, so there's 21 gears. So it's more than enough really. There's probably a couple of duplicates in there somewhere. And this is the large frame as well. Now, <laughs> don't talk to me about large frames because this beast is the biggest frame that I've, I've ever come across really. So this in comparison doesn't feel large at all. This is like a modern bikes version of large. And it's extremely comfortable for me. I'm six foot tall and it's just perfect. I absolutely love the size of it. And as you can see, I have had to put the seat up, but not a great deal. So all good there. So going from back to front, I'm going to talk through the things that I like and don't like about this bike. And I think that's the best way to do it, really. So the first thing already touched on it is the handlebars. These are extremely wide. And I think the next video I'm actually going to do is trimming these. Now, I know I said that that was a comfortable riding position, but it comes at a bit of a cost, especially around the town. Now, around where I live, there's loads of little alleyways, there's bollards. And one of the biggest things is traffic, being in traffic with handlebars this wide is just uh, really, really just not, not the best, basically. So what I plan to do is just take a tiny little bit off each end. Now, I know that this can make a big difference if you're not careful. And I don't want to ruin the comfort of this ride because it is a very nice, comfortable bike to ride. So I'm going to be very careful and just take a bit off. Now, with these being so wide, I do wonder if it's on purpose so you can trim them down. And I'll be interested to see if there's any measurements under here when I take these off. Not looking forward to getting these grips off. I hate doing that on bikes. But um, yeah, that will be the next video. I'm going to trim those down very, very slightly and see if that makes a difference. Moving along the bike, this is the next thing that I actually really don't like. It's the non-concealed wiring. It doesn't go through the frame. You can see here there's the wiring underneath and it's completely exposed as well, which is also another annoying part of it. Now, even with my old bike up here, that has got a uh, through the frame wiring system. And it's just so handy because around town... I very often pick up my bike and put it on my shoulder, but with this, it just makes it really uncomfortable. So that is probably the main thing I don't like about this bike. Now, I know that that's kind of looking towards the more expensive end of bikes when you're getting um, in-frame cable management, but I would expect that of something these days, to be honest, and that actually is one of the biggest issues that I have with this bike. So moving down, you've got two spaces for accessories, which is nice. So you could have two drinks or you could have tools or something else. And another thing which I kind of don't like about this bike is this whole area here. Now, when I'm pedaling and moving, this makes a lot of noise, this whole thing. And it's because this chain guard, that's plastic and the pedals are plastic as well. So I'll get a lot of squeaking when I'm on the bike, which I really don't like. 
and I'm going to look into doing something about that. Now, these bearings on this uh, pedal look shot. <laughs> I only can get it to go about 90 degrees. So, I mean, they need servicing anyway, but what I will do with this probably at some point is get some metal um, pedals for it. I think that will make a big difference, and hopefully I can actually remove this. I'm not actually that bothered about having a chain guard. I just make sure I'm careful with my, uh, with my trouser choice and uh, we should be good. But the problem that I have here is that this looks like it's all kind of one piece. I will investigate that another time and maybe that can be a different video. But uh, yeah, I would like to, to, uh, to take that off. I don't really mind it being exposed. Moving to the back, this is one thing that annoyed me since buying it is the fact that these things to connect the pannier to the frame are silver. I really don't understand that and I really don't like it because the majority of the bike, as you can see, is black, and I, I really like that about this bike. I think it's got a really nice stealth look to it. Um, so I do plan on taking these off. I'll give them a quick sand down, uh, wet sand probably, just a very fine grit to clean them all up. Then I'll primer and spray them black, and it'll just look a little bit neater, I think. I'm looking forward to doing that. I don't know if I can be bothered doing these bits, but maybe at some point. If these can come apart quite easily, then maybe I will but um, not overly fussed on that. It's mainly these bits. They really, really annoy me for some reason. So yeah, as a whole, like I said, it's very practical. You've got the mud guards that'll keep you nice and uh, clean in the horrible British weather, especially today. Plenty of gears to choose from. Nice, comfortable seat, nice, comfortable handlebars, the pannier. So all in all, it's a very, very nice town bike. Now, one thing that I do want to say about this bike, and I think this will definitely have changed on the more modern versions of this, this is not very recent, this one, is it is quite heavy and you definitely notice it over longer distances. Obviously with the bigger tires as well, these are kind of slick, like semi-slick, but with the bigger tires, the wider tires and the frame weight. Um, basically my friend has got exactly the same bike and I mean exactly the same bike. And I've been out with him when I'm on this and he was saying that he was really kind of struggling to keep up. He could do it, but um, he was saying it was a little bit of a struggle to uh, to keep up. So. If you're thinking of doing a lot of distance, I would definitely look more towards like a hybrid kind of bike, uh, something with the 700C tires, thinner tires. I think they're 23s on this one, width-wise. So I would definitely look for something like that because there's loads of bikes like that on the market now where you get the kind of frame like this, but they've got the racing wheels. And if you're doing a lot of distance, honestly, it makes such a difference. Um, when you're hitting a hill with this, you really do feel it. But on the plus side, it is actually a pretty good workout. So yeah, you could look at it at both ways really. So that's an overview of the bike. It's the Giant Escape. I can't remember the year of it, but I'll put it up on the screen right now if I find it. But I think it's around a 2012, 2013, something like that. And yeah, just quickly before I finish, one thing that you'll notice with newer bikes now that all seem to be going towards disc brakes. And I think that's not a con, but they're kind of introducing more expensive parts as a way to increase the price of bikes i think i've got v-brakes on this and honestly out of all the brakes that i've tried v-brakes are my favorites they're just easy to look after and they're just razor sharp i've never had problems with them and i'm very very happy with the v-brakes on this bike there's a couple of little things actually here which i would quite like to tidy up maybe some new uh some new nuts there or bolts or whatever whichever word it is for that one uh so yeah another thing as well slight tears in the seat I think the electrical tape might be coming out soon for that. But yeah, that's it, guys. All in all, a pretty decent, very solid feeling, actually. Very solid, I should have mentioned that. Uh, bike for around town. Pretty practical on the whole. And just, yeah, fairly inconspicuous, so I don't mind locking this up or anything like that. And yeah, that's the other bike in my collection. So these are my two bikes. The one that stays there on the wall, which is actually up there by two shelf brackets, and two old cast iron shelf brackets. And then we've got my daily commuter sort of round town messing around when I don't want to take that one out. Uh, more chilled ride. So thanks for watching. I will be back with more bike related content very soon.